Time management is a skill. It comes naturally to some of us and it's non-existent for others. But you do have the ability to optimize your time in order to focus on all of your habits, routines, and passions. So in this video, we're gonna talk about five time management systems that you can try out in order to actually get stuff done. We all have 24 hours of the day, right? Technically, yes, we all have 24 hours in the day, but we all have very different lives. Some of us commute to work, some of us have to go to school, kids, no kids, appointments, extracurriculars, really long commutes, working from home. There are so many small things that take up our day to day, which means allocating time to your passions and projects and habits and routines is going to look different for everybody. Let's get into it. Management system number one is the Eisenhower matrix. You might have seen this box before, but it was named after the US president, Dwight Eisenhower, where you categorize your tasks into four different quadrants based off of importance and urgency. So you have your urgent and really important items. You have your not urgent, but important items. And then you have your urgent, not important, and not urgent, and not important items. So this helps you look at your tasks and prioritize them based off of urgency and importance, which can help you start off with those immediate tasks that need to be done. And then if you write down tasks that fall under the not urgent and not important items, those things can kind of just get pushed to the side and they don't have to be on your daily to-do list. Personally, when I've tried to use this method, I, as an individual, like creative solo entrepreneur, I didn't really write anything in the not urgent not important column because as somebody who's the only one on my team, I'm the only one that can complete my habits, I didn't really have anything that would land in that category. Everything that I need to get done has to get done at some point in my day. So this method I think is a great way to find out what's urgent and important that has to get done right then and there and prioritizing those first. But as a daily system or something that I would turn to um, in order to prioritize my day, I don't think I'd use this method every day, but it's definitely a great way to just try this out every once in a while to just see how you allocate urgency and importance to the tasks that you currently have to do. Number two, this is my favorite method, is the Pomodoro Technique. And this essentially is a time management productivity system where you break down your day into 25 minute sessions. Technically you can work in a two hour block, but divide it into four Pomodoros. So 25 minutes and then a five minute break so that you can just really focus on one task at a time. This is great for either my procrastinators who just don't like getting started. If you just set a timer and just go for it, you're more likely to get going than if you're like, in the next two hours, I'm gonna start this project. And using the Pomodoro technique, it helps with productivity, being more efficient, reducing burnout, and get stuff done so much more efficiently. Because if you give yourself 25 minutes for a task, you'll try to get it done in that 25 minutes. If you give yourself six six hours to do the same task, you're gonna use that full six hours, be like, oh, I can do it later, I can do it later, I can start later. And eventually it, you might never get to it or something that you could have done in 25 minutes you're gonna use six hours. Number three is the getting things done method. And I've been using this method for the last like week and I am in love with it. So this method was made by David Allen. It's a productivity system that allows you to capture all of your tasks that you wanna get done. So running your daily to-do list and then organizing your to-do list into different categories and then prioritizing those things based off of importance. The goal for this method is to just take the guesswork out of what you're gonna be spending time on. If you can allocate some time in the morning to just write down what you wanna do, put it into categories, it'll just be easier to be like, hey, next thing is this, next thing is this, instead of having no idea what you wanna get done or just having a massive list of things that you might get to, but without categorizing them or, or putting them in an order of importance. So personally for me, the pros of this method is you just really, it takes the guesswork out of it. You make your list, you put it in your categories, you rank it by importance, and then you just go on about your day. You can just glance at your list, okay, this is next and it just takes the guesswork out of it. And organizing all of my to-dos into categories allows me to just jump from one thing to the next without too much overwhelm, being like, okay, hey, I'm working on my content category, I'm working on my admin category, and it just makes it more seamless. The cons to this is if you are not a list person or if you don't have time in the morning to really sit down and figure out what you're gonna do for the day, this might not be the method for you, but I love lists, I love planning, so I absolutely love this method. But it does take about 10 to 15 minutes in the morning to really organize your day 
and sometimes you might not get to that so if it's already like halfway through the day and you haven't made your list you might feel like you're behind so or number four is time blocking i use this one as well where essentially you allocate time in your calendar for certain tasks so that every single week it's kind of just like the same thing like monday morning at eight you do emails or Sunday at 5 p.m. you do a reset. Allocate your time blocks for certain tasks so you take the guesswork out of what you're spending time on. And I will also point with your time blocks, have them pop up on your phone because for me, if I just had it in a calendar and I had to go look at my calendar, I need the reminder like in my face to be like, hey, in five minutes you're working on this so that I have enough transition time to actually go and do what's in my time block. This method really helps kind of structure your schedule so you know where you're spending your energy and your time. And it also allows you to know that throughout your week, you're going to have time for the important tasks that you must get done. So for me, as a UGC content creator, I have a UGC outreach time block where twice a week, where I sit for half an hour and I will find emails to brand managers. And then in my second time block, I will outreach to all of them, sending an email, reaching out, doing that. So I know every single week I am putting my name out there. I'm trying to get clients and that's allocated to specific times so that it will get done okay and then method number five is the two minute rule so this is also coined by David Allen within the get it done method which basically means if it's a task that can take you two minutes or less do it and I struggle with this because I'm notorious for if there is a really simple thing to do, I will procrastinate on it. And retraining your brain to be like, okay, I can do this right now. It's really simple. I can check this off in this moment. It will just prevent you from one, having this one tiny task from looming over your head of being like, I really gotta get to this. I really gotta do this. I really gotta send that email. I really gotta respond to that text message. Whatever it is, if it takes two minutes or less, get in the habit of just going for it. Just do it, get it done. So it's off your plate. Cause what happens is all of these small minute tasks will add up and there'll be just so many of them. You'll get overwhelmed. And then it just feels like you have way too much to do that you just avoid your whole to-do list, which will then also lead to more overwhelm. And that cycle will just continue. When it comes to time management, everybody is different. Like I said at the beginning, we all have 24 hours, but there are so many things that just make up our lives. That means that we have to allocate time differently. And one of the biggest things I want you to take away from this video is that these five methods or any time management system really can be combined to make a system that works for you. So I personally use the Pomodoro technique where I monotask, I pick one task for 25 minutes and I work on that. Time blocking, which I already mentioned, I have things in my calendar that I stick to, as well as currently I've been doing the get it done method by David Allen, where each morning I'm writing my to-do list, I'm making my categories, and it's truly just helped me stop thinking about what needs to get done. Yes, there are things that are gonna pop up throughout your day that weren't on your list, but you can just add that in. And if you don't get to it because it wasn't in your like initial day, move it to the next day and you will get to it. So let me know which method you were using below or if you have a method that I didn't mention, drop it in the comments so that we can all check it out. Cause I don't know about you, but I am definitely on kind of this habit productivity kick where I want to really show up and implement the systems that will help me achieve the goals for 2024. So that is everything that I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit like if you can subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you in the next one. Bye.